mangrove can refer both to a singular tree or shrub, as well as the entirety of the ecosystem. The mangrove tree itself is a wooded plant with a complex propped root system, meaning the roots of the trees exist both above and below the water. Such a system is advantageous for mangroves, as it allows the trees to thrive even when flooded twice a day due to tidal changes. Mangroves are located along the saltwater coastlines in tropical and subtropical latitudes. In the United States, mangroves can be found along the coast of the Gulf of Mexico, including parts of Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. Mangroves are an example of a blue carbon ecosystem, meaning they are a coastal or marine environment that sequester or store carbon. Carbon can be stored in the plant biomass both above and below ground. Above ground, carbon is stored in the trunks, stems, and leaves of trees. Root systems and rhizomes store carbon below ground. 50 to 90% of the carbon mangrove store is in the soil, the chemical makeup of which is unique to this coastal ecosystem. Mangroves are an incredibly successful blue carbon ecosystem. Though less than 2% of all marine environments are mangroves, they store 10 to 15% of carbon. Just one acre of mangroves can store 1,450 pounds of carbon per year, approximately the equivalent of driving from Boston to San Francisco and back. When this rate is applied globally, 75 billion pounds of carbon storage can be attributed to mangroves. When compared to terrestrial forests, mangroves are incredibly efficient carbon sinks and sequester carbon at a rate of two to four times that of a mature tropical forest. Mangroves can store so much carbon, largely in part due to the propped root systems. The root systems of mangroves evolved to be very complex and stilted to best deal with the variability of the rising and lowering tides, which consequently traps sediments underwater, which are not broken down due to the lack of oxygen. The lower rates of decomposition boasted by the sediments in the mangrove allow for large amounts of carbon to be sequestered in the soil. This carbon is typically stored in the thick muck layer of the soil up to six meters below the surface and, when the ecosystem is left unharmed, can remain stored for millennia. The emphasis must be placed on when the ecosystem is left unharmed, as mangroves continue to be destroyed across the globe. Approximately 30 to 50 percent of mangroves have been wiped out internationally and continue to be lost at a rate of about 2 percent per year. Human activities are the primary driver behind such severe loss. Among a multitude of driving forces, the destruction of coastal mangroves can be cited to aquaculture, plants and marine life for human consumption, agriculture, the development of coastal areas into urban centers, and the exploitation of the land and animals that reside in the mangroves. This destruction of mangroves has severely deleterious impacts on the climate. When organisms that store carbon in their biomass are cut down, all the stored carbon is immediately released into the atmosphere. As such, when mangroves are converted into commercial uses, the carbon stored in the biomass is immediately released into the atmosphere. Though mangroves account for 0.7% of tropical forest area, their destruction equates to 10% of all carbon emissions from deforestation. Not only does the carbon that was already stored get released into the atmosphere, the potential tons of carbon that could be sequestered in the future are also sacrificed. It is incredibly important to protect mangroves and other blue carbon ecosystems as they play a huge role in our efforts to mitigate global climate change.